One of the requests we've had over the years is to have a designer version of Enroute that would allow you to take home a version or, or take one on a trip and work on a profile while still keeping your main version of Enroute at the shop. So we've developed Enroute Pro Designer for Enroute 5, and basically this is a complete version of Enroute Pro that will do everything but output CNC files. So you have all the same relief creation tools, slicing abilities, tool pathing, and simulation. You just have to go to the main version to create the output. Now, here's a quick review of uh, something, a little 3D project. And uh, here I have a piece of 2D clip art. I'm going to come to the Create Relief button and put a flat zero height relief, checking the Normal tab. And I have a resolution of 100 here. And I'll hit Apply. If you don't have Normal check, this might be grayed out sometimes. Now I can see I have a, uh, a flat, no thickness relief here. Next, I'm going to create a profile that I'm going to go around the outside of this part with and I'll create a little OG profile here and uh, to to come and edit this I'm going to I'm going to use my box tool and I'm going to come here to the solutions go to block excuse me the block tool and uh, hit create and that will create a little block around my my object here my profile now I'm going to go to the point edit mode and I'm going to soften this this uh, OG curve here a, a little bit and I want to make it so I, I think it'll look nice and smooth at the top and give myself a, a nice outer edge as well. well. Once I have my OG profile the way I'd like it I can zoom out here and get rid of that little block. Now I'll come here and go to the centerline chamfer and it tells me select the chamfering contour which is right here. I'm going to add this onto my current relief and I'm going to uh, I'll maybe make this 0.7. That looks good. And I'll hit my green check mark. Now, if I did a good job on my profile, I should get a nice looking surface that creates a smooth top, and it does. And uh, see, that's a nice little design there. So now let's do the tool pathing for this. And I'll, uh, I'll adjust this so I can see all four views here. And I'm going to use my alignment tool here to align that relief to the bottom of the plate. Now uh, let's create the toolpath for this, and I'll go with the island fill here, and I'm going to use a 3 16 ball end mill. I'll go to a depth of 0.75. I'm applying an overcut, and uh, I have a fill percentage of 90%. I'll assume I'm doing this in something like precision board, and I can, I can have a pretty nice speed here, and I can always slow that down on the controller if it's a little too fast. And we'll hit OK. And we're going to create the toolpath for this, for the uh, actual creation of the surface. I don't have a rough pass here, just a normal toolpath. And now we'll also have a 3 16 end mill for the cutout. Now if we want to see a simulation of this part, we can do that. I have tool color selected. And we'll go ahead and render this whole part. And here we can see the... The tool is, is cutting. I could slow this down if I want to see the tool moving, but I want to kind of see this as fast as possible. And so there I can see the, uh, the surface has been created. And now the cutout toolpath has been applied, and I can see where that blue area is, and that would be the area that has been cut out. So, uh, so you can do all of the things you need to be able to do with this version, this designer version. And now when I wanted to output this, I would just save this as an Enroute file. And then uh, I would be able to open it on another version of Enroute and create the CNC file. So we're very happy to bring you the, the Enroute 5 designer in uh, version 5 of Enroute.